So I'm down here in Spain. You might have seen on uh, one of the last videos that I did, I came down at Santander route, stayed in Cáceres, got absolutely piss wet through, came down the second day was actually all right. So I've been down here for a while, heading back up now. It's Wednesday today, leaving on Thursday. The ferry is at one o'clock Saturday, Santander. Um, I don't think on a bike you can do it on in a one so you're going to have to stay somewhere. So tomorrow I'm leaving mid-morning, about 11 o'clock. I've got a meeting that I need to do. Mid-morning, going from here, you kind of cut down to go towards Algeciras and then, and then you go up past Seville and I'm overnighting it in a place called Placencia. I'm staying in a Parador there. I'll do a video so that you can see what Placencia is. Hopefully there's a map either there or there showing you what I'm doing here. So that's about 500k, 320 miles um, to get to Placencia. And then on Friday, a slightly easier day, Placencia up to a place near Santander called Arca, A-R-C-E. I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. Could be pronounced a different way. Um, and I'm doing an overnight there. It's a stone's throw from Santander. Got to be there probably about 11.30ish, something like that, so that you have plenty of time to get onto the ferry. And the ferry is an overnighter, pulls into Portsmouth 8pm into Portsmouth on Sunday night. Inevitably, it'll be raining, won't it? I, can, I, I know now. And then I should be in my own bed by about 10 o'clock, something like that. So this is on the road going north up to Placencia. It was uh, nice, you know, it was 15, 15 degrees, something like that on the way up. This is a, a bridge that's a bit like the Queen Elizabeth Bridge that goes over the Thames. This goes over the Guadalquivir in Seville. Um, and over on the right hand side is the is the port and on the left hand side would take you out to the coast. It means that Seville is an important port city for Spain and if you've got oranges that have come from Seville they will almost certainly have been through this port. There's not a lot of this don't worry it's just I threw in just a little bit of video just so that you can see what it's like on the road. Spanish roads are great they are better than UK roads the motorways are better than UK roads the drivers are great um, never had any never been cut up and I've never had any problems on Spanish roads at all. So I'm just at a service station on the A66, I don't know, 10 miles south of Monasterio. I've stayed in Monasterio before. It's a good kind of halfway point to stop off at. Um, the weather's probably been somewhere between 12 and 15. It's a bit cooler on the plane. Left at 10.30 and it's now 1.30. So that's three solid hours on the bike needed to stop for a pee and also because it was a bit cold and uh, needed to put some gas in the tank and I've got another two hours 20 to get up to Placencia and look at that that's just turned up wow I don't know if you can see that like a nice old BMW right I'm gonna go and grab a uh, croissant and a cup of coffee and then jump back on so that we can crack it all out I'll probably put something a tad warmer on so this is the front of the building, the Parador in Placencia. You're actually coming through a, a garage at the back. This is the room. It was 100 euros. Breakfast, were, I think, was 20 euros. Nice room. Really nice building. This Parador thing is is great idea. So on the left-hand side is the inside of the Parador. On the right-hand side is Placencia. Um, Harry Potter vibe for the Parador. It was an old Dominican convent. Very nice, really nicely done. Placencia is like a lot of other Spanish towns in that they've got an old town which hasn't been changed. Could be any other kind of Spanish town. Hey there, good morning. So yesterday I rode up from uh, Placencia to get to here, a place called Arca. Uh, the Palacio de Arca Hotel just outside Santander. It's about 10 kilometres from Santander. Um, I stayed in a Parador when I was down in Placencia. I really recommend them. They're state-run hotels. 
it's a really nice idea they get the choice of all the best properties i think they've got like 100 locations in spain and one in portugal you should check them out it had a really neat underground car park i'll drop some video in reminded me of one of the portals in a tenant if you've ever seen that christopher nolan film anyway my biggest concern about this um coming back up um to santander in december was that it was going to rain because uh, i you know Riding, riding a motorbike in the rain is not fun. Um, and so on the first day, going from Marbella up to Placencia was fine. It was it was kind of warm and sunny, no problem at all. Yesterday, it was cold, so it didn't get above 10 centigrade until kind of the end of the day. So it started off at like four or five. It ended up with five or six layers on it, on, on me. So it was pretty cold all the way through the day. I had the heated grips on all day and I had a heated vest on. Um, and then the worst bit about it is when you, you you go through the Picos, and I'll put a map in so you can see what it does. And the Picos is that line of mountains that goes east-west across the, the top of Spain. And to get to Santander or Bilbao, you've got to go through it one way or another. The Bilbao route is easier because it's lower. So I've done this now six times, and each time the weather has been crap and yesterday was probably as bad as it gets so as you climbed up it got colder um it got gustier as well so you're getting kind of buffeted by the wind it was raining um the cloud came down so it was foggy um the only worst thing was would it have been if it was in the dark and that would have been just disastrous and i think now i'm kind of fatigued by it i've done it enough times to know that actually i don't want to do it anymore it's the worst part of the journey for me it's just oh god you know just get just kind of get it out of the way so i'll i'll, I'll think about the best ways to do that in the in the future so i stayed here at this hotel and then this morning that the ferry leaves today at one o'clock it got pushed back so uh, the ferry leaves today at one o'clock so I'm just going to load the bike up and then just kind of meander down into Santander and have a little bit of a, a ride around Santander, get to the port and then probably load up about 12, something like that. When you travel by ferry, there's quite a bit of sitting around waiting for nothing to do. So so you wait in the... When, when you rock up at a port, you flash your passport and they give you your boarding card and they give you the room the, the the room key and then you go through to another parking area where they wait for you to actually board the the boat and then they call you forward again and this is like the forward parking area and you come onto the the boat here and obviously the boat's got different decks now the modern ferry boats have got mechanisms so that they can change the height of the ceiling um I was the first on here so you go up and if you look at the the height of that ceiling and just look at some of the equipment that's on this on the wall there and when you book your car or your bike or your van onto a ferry they ask you what height it is and that's roughly so that they can put you onto the the appropriate deck and then what they'll do is they will raise or lower the other decks to maximize the capacity of the ferry so if you look at the roof on this how high it is you can actually see those doors on the right hand side can you see how the roof seems to go across a couple of those doors and that's because what they do is they'll load it up and then later on they'll they'll drop it they'll they'll drop that roof down and then they'll load more vehicles on the top of it So here it looks cavernous, doesn't it? It looks like an aircraft hangar. And I just park up here. I think there was four bikes on it. There was mine, a Tenere, there was a scooter and there was a Triumph, I think. And then on the way back, I oh know that's it, just off the bike there. So look at the height of the roofs how many panels there one two three four five six panels on the on the side of that and then da -da. this is at the end so i'd then you know come back down at the end when i was in portsmouth now it's only three panels so you can see they dropped the roof down
That's it, folks. Have a super Christmas and New Year. See you soon. Bye.